we run this project management office, and I think the, the, the ability for us to be able to set up a project management office in the private office of the president's president has helped us to be able to be a bit more agile and responsive in the crisis that besets us as government. And the crisis that generally besets, besets us, as you quite well know, is that we do very well at policy. We do very well at partnering with organizations like Real in doing research, but we do really poor at implementation. And so we have all these issues that have been designed, but we are unable to implement them quite effectively. And so what the president has asked is, can you set up a project management office to be able to implement some of the more pertinent things that he wants to focus on? And one of those particular areas, as you can see, it's, it's, it's um, these areas, but I'm going to focus on middle block, which is the presidential with employment intervention, because I think that is where it matters over here. And so intersection is quite important because the way we've designed our intervention is to, is to say we've done something, it doesn't work, we go back, right? We've designed an intervention and we take another pathway, right? Or we take a different pathway from what we have done. So, so what we've done is an iteration over the last two and a half years to be able to get to something which we think is what we, what we, what we hope is a, a useful implementation to support young people. Now, it's not an overarching, uh, you know, a detailed implementation plan. What it is about, and it's very specific, in getting young people and we say this, young people from learning to earning. And many of you have probably heard this saying, but that is quite critical for us. And when we define earning, we don't define it as a job, right? We don't define it in the traditional sense of formal employment. Earning, in a sense, means a very different things to young people. We have done those five interventions specifically that we think would help young people to shift from learning to earning. So at the center of this is five particular, four particular components and five sectors of intervention. And let's talk about those sectors at a later stage there, because I think those are important for how we develop that intersection between policy research and implementation to, to support the growth of particular sectors and the work that we're doing on them. So central to the presidential employment uh, um, um, youth, sorry, youth, inter youth employment intervention efforts is the establishment of a national pathway management network. The second area is that, um, um, so the second area is that we're specifically looking at areas of demand-led skills training, and it's a paper performance model. And I want to explain a little bit because we think this is unique. Uh, this is something that uh, we think is an opportunity that we are able to uh, build on in the way that we see skills training from a different uh, perspective. Uh, you know, in, instead of uh, you know the, the traditional form of supply models of skills where we churn out the skills and hope for young people to find employment, we want to test and, uh, uh, you know, we've been doing this around, um, you know, a, a demand skills approach, and I'll explain that. Um, the, the third area is just, you know, enabling local e ecosystems to, to facilitate self-employment and enterprise development, because again, it's not just about formal employment or informal employment, it's also in various forms of economic activity that is out there. Um, revitalization of the National Youth Service, and that's quite important because we do have a National Youth Service program, but we're looking at revitalize, revitalizing that. And then, f uh, you know, lastly, a number of interventions on pro priority growth areas with employment potential for young people. 